Right off the bat, let me say that the System Shock remake by Night Dive Studios has breathed new life into a beloved classic while staying true to its cyberpunk roots. With upgraded visuals and an immersive world, the remake offers nostalgia for longtime fans and an exciting experience for newcomers. However, be warned, a few design choices and control issues might hinder your overall experience. System Shock follows the gripping tale of a daring hacker who finds themselves entangled in the sinister machinations of the powerful Trioptium Corporation. Before long, you'll find yourself escorted to Citadel Station, where you come face to face with Edward Diego, a high-ranking executive at Trioptium. In a clandestine deal, Diego proposes dropping all charges against the hacker in return for a covert mission, hacking into Shudan, the station's controlling artificial intelligence. Little does the hacker know that Diego harbours ulterior motives as he aims to pilfer an experimental mutagenic virus undergoing testing on Citadel Station and exploit it for illicit gains by selling it as a potent biological weapon on the black market. The remake captures the essence of the original game, skillfully intertwining its core elements with a fresh coat of enhanced graphics and an immersive atmosphere that effectively transports the player back to the haunting corridors of Citadel Station. Every meticulous detail, from the flickering lights casting eerie shadows, to the subtle hum of the machinery echoing through the metallic halls, contributes to this rich atmosphere that pays homage to the beloved original while embracing the advancements of modern technology. The revamped visuals breathe new life into familiar surroundings, allowing players to witness the decaying beauty of the station in exquisite detail, while somehow still maintaining this gritty cyberpunk aesthetic that made the original so captivating. One of the standout features is the meticulous recreation of the starting area and other iconic locations from the original. Nostalgic fans will find themselves delighted as they traverse the well-designed hallways of Citadel Station, which offer ample opportunities for exploration. Hidden within these corridors are valuable resources, weapons and upgrades that reward diligent explorers, encouraging thorough investigation and clever utilisation of the tools you have available. The faithful recreation of the maze-like structure from the original game adds authenticity, but it also introduces some frustrating elements. Tedious backtracking and navigation challenges can dampen the overall experience, testing my patience at times. You might find yourself longing for a more streamlined approach that reduces the need for excessive retracing of steps. System Shock's remake ditches modern conventions by omitting an objective screen or mission markers. Instead, you must rely on audio logs or emails to navigate the complex storyline. While this approach fosters immersion, it might prove challenging for players who are more used to modern games, which tend to give a more explicit level of guidance. In addition, the absence of clear objectives can lead to confusion and occasionally detract from what is an overall excellent story. The game is clearly optimised for keyboard and mouse controls and provides precise inputs and smooth gameplay. If you insist on using a controller, you might find the inventory management a little bit overwhelming and cumbersome. Despite a few design choices and control issues that can hinder the overall experience, the System Shock remake by Night Dive successfully revives this classic gem for the modern era. A faithful upgrade, beautification of the original game, well-designed environments and a rewarding exploration experience create an immersive world that captivated me from start to finish. What did you think of the System Shock remake? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.